a bit of please, love. Oh. Oh. Look there. Target for tonight. They've got a room for Janet. Oh, how wonderful for us all. Oh, 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 oh. Andy, Andy, Andy. <laughs> I think I'm in here. <laughs> Darling, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Who is she? A colleague. We were thrown together at a seminar in True. Sorry, I tend to go a little over the top mid-cycle. Um, well, we were never actually introduced. I'm Philippa. And I'm knackered. Geoffrey's in room four. You can go over the top in there. Uh. Thank you. Oh, darling. Now, I'll be waiting for you at the Dolly Green Inn. You do want me to be waiting, don't you? Oi! Lover boy! Get your arse in gear! Oh, sweetie. Sweetie, bye. Afternoon tea, yes? Uh, no. We're fully booked, I'm afraid. Oh, it's all right. I'm with Mr. Patterson. At least I think I am. You'll be wanting dinner then. I'll see if I can stretch me fricassee. You tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Go home. He was so cold tonight. That's often the way with intensely sexual men. They're all aggression, no compassion. They're all animal instincts and no feelings. Why else would he be so heartless? Why else would he suddenly reject me? can't imagine. In Troon, we made love all night. We didn't join the seminar until mid-morning coffee. We were at it till dawn, right through the breakfast meeting. And now... Now, he doesn't even want me to blow on his stomach. My life is over, Arthur. You'll always have true. Sorry. It's all right, mate. I just wanted the embrocation. Uh, coat pocket. Terrible thing, Andy. We've done a terrible thing, me and Arthur. Oh God, poor Jeffrey. I know. I wouldn't normally be so indiscreet, but I think you ought to know that Arthur. Well, he has one of the highest sperm counts this side of the wash. You mean I might be? I'll have the full English breakfast, please, Doug. <laughs> 